Hi guys, Dave here with a new guitar solo lesson for you. Uh, today we're going to look at the Eagles' Take It Easy. And uh, this, this solo is a really great introduction for kind of country rock guitar playing. It's not too fast, but it has some kind of classic country licks in it. It's got some double stops playing going on, a little kind of pedal steel licks going on there as well. So it's a really nice gentle introduction into this sort of style of guitar playing. Okay guys, I hope you enjoy this. Uh, let's go in for a close up. Right, the whole solo starts on a little pickup. So it starts on the four end. <laughs> So the first bit is over a G chord and we start on the G string and we slide from 2 to 4. Then we're going to form a little G chord basically. We're going to bar across the 3rd fret on the E and B strings, keeping our 2nd finger on the G string at the 4th fret. We're going to play the um, E and B strings together, then the G and B strings, back up to E and B and then we're going to hammer on the 5th fret on both the E and B strings so up to that point While we're still holding that shape, we're going to play the E and B strings twice, then the B and G, and then we're going to slide that down two frets. Just that little shape there, and then two on the open G and B strings. So that's second half. whole phrase like so okay next bit so what we're going to do is start on the first fret on the B second on the G play them together and quickly slide them up two frets So now we're at this position, we're going to play that twice. So you get like that. Then we're going to do a quick back slide down two frets. Like that. So the first fret on the B, second on the G. Then open for those two strings. Then put the first fret and second fret back on. Then just play the open G. You'll notice at this point I'll keep my first finger on, you'll see why in the next phrase. So, I'll keep that finger on. I'm going to play on the D string open and two. Leave the finger on, and then I'm just going to play the B and G strings together. And at this point, you're kind of trying to let the notes ring into each other as much as you can. So that phrase. Like that. Keeping that shape down, we're going to play the D string. Then the G and B strings again. Bring your finger over, play the second fret. On the G, along with the first fret on the B, like that. Once you play that, slide it up two frets, like that. Then play the third fret on the B. Then we're going to play the two strings together, the B and the G, and do a quick backslide down two frets, 
then open. So. First fret on the B, second on the G again. We're going to play it and slide till we're at the 10th fret on the B and 11th on the G. Like that. Keeping that shape on, we play the B string, then the G. A little bit of a bar on there. And then we're going to do a back slide down to the 9th fret on the G. So then we're gonna play the seventh fret twice on the G. Eight sliding to nine. Then eighth fret twice on the B. Back to the ninth fret on the G. There you go. Like that. Then we're going to bend up uh, two frets, 10th fret on the B. And what you're going to do is you're going to hold that bend, play it twice. Like that. In the next bar, keep holding that bend and we're going to go. So you pick it one, two, three, give it a quick release and then pull off onto eighth fret. I'll play that together. Then we're into some sliding double stops. Um, the next bit's all done on the E and B strings. And we're starting with a slide from 10 up to 12. Then we're gonna play the 12 three more times. Then slide from 10 to 12. Play 12 again. Then slide from 10 to 12 again. Then play 10. I'll play that phrase a couple of times just so you can get the idea of it. Like that. So, next phrase, um, a bit of kind of country double stop in here. So we're playing the 10th fret on the B, uh, 9th fret on the G, and we're bending that up a tone, up two frets. Then we're going to play them together again, but then we're going to do a quick release, like that. Then we're going to play 10 on the B, 7 on the G. Together like that. Then finish off on 9 on the D. Like that. Right, the next phrase. Um, Pick 7 on the G, hammer on 8, and then slide into 9, like that. Then 8 on the B, 9 on the G, 
then on the B string, ten, ten then A. Like that. Try and again try and let those notes ring into each other as much as you can. Right, again, kind of a country flavoured lick this. So we're going to play 10 on the B and then bend it up a tone. Then we're going to play 10 on the E. And what we want to do is let those two strings ring into each other as much as we can. That sort of thing. Okay. And then we're going to bend, yeah. So done that, and then we bend it uh, the eight, the tenth fret on the B again. Excuse me. Then we're going to hold the bend. Then what I'm going to do there is I'm, I'm going to pick, release the bend, pull off onto A, and then play eight again. Then one more time and then 9 on the G. Like that. Like that. Right, the next phrase. Again, we're going to try and let those notes ring into each other. A uh, quick hammer on from 8 to 10 on the B, keep the finger held down, we can play 7-8 on the E, back to 7, back to 10 on the B, like that. Then we're going to jump position. So this time I'm playing the 8th fret on the B, 7 on the G, and bending that G string up a tone. Then I re-pick the 8th fret on the B, then I'm going to do two quick bends on the uh, G string again, from the 7th fret, one more bend. Actual fact, what this is, it's a pre-bend. So you do the two bends, re-pick the string, let it down, then pull off onto the fifth fret. Play seventh fret on the D, back to five on the G, back to seven on the D. So it's... To the final phrase. So I'm bending upper tone from the 10th fret on the B, hold the bend, then play the 10th fret on the E along with that bend. Like that. So with that rhythm, so it's like one. Two and three, four and like that. Then the final bar, still holding that bend, play the two strings again, let the bend down, play eight, and then we're going to jump up to 14th fret on the E, 13th fret on the B. And we're going to bend that 13th fret up a tone. Again, this is a classic kind of country rock lick to do. Sounds a bit like a D7. Okay, well that's, that's all the notes and all the order and everything else. 
One other thing I'll probably mention is the sound. I'm, I've got, um, I'm using a Fender Telecaster. I've stuck it on the uh, kind of middle position, so I've got both pickups on. Everything's turned all the way up. Basically a clean sound, a uh, little bit of compression on there, and a little bit of reverb. That's pretty close, I think, to the sound that's on the record. Okay. I hope you enjoyed the lesson, and I'll see you for one soon.